Okay, so I did a video a couple months about, ago about naming my swing and calling it the huge swing, which was partly just to be funny and trying to force a series of movements into a word. But then I thought about that, like if I'm going to really break it down, the thing I thought is the minimal number of things to think about is going to be better. That's just how it is in golf. The less things you have to attend to, if you start trying to do four swing thoughts, everybody knows that's a disaster. I don't think you need, I don't really believe in swing thoughts, ideally. Um, I think what you need to do is get a feeling for what your swing is, and then kind of ingrain that feel, practice your feel. Even if your feel is something, what gets you there is not reality, doesn't matter. You get a feel that works and puts you in good places, and then you replicate that feel in your swing. But anyway, with your trainer, I think the two, there are really two forces and one sort of surrender move, almost. So, still sticking with heave. I think there's a lot of value in this, putting a lot of force right here and then letting it ride up. Um, it does a bunch of things. It keeps you from swaying. Pretty hard to sway if you're putting force like that. You're not gonna sway if you do that. You're gonna sway if you try to do something like slowly like this, but if you're forceful, the sway goes away. So if you have a sway, unbelievably high level of force for you. This will feel like Oh, you're just all your all the force you can put in from here to here. That's what you want. So if you have a sway, this is how to get rid of it. A lot of force right there. So there, that's the one. H. Heave. It's gonna, not going to make a word anymore because I can't. So heave, and then it could be drop. I think so. The drop, vertical drop, like Mo describes. But the drop is two things. You're feeling a drop, but you're not, they're not visually going to be a drop. It's going to fall right on plane, but forcibly, you're letting it drop, right? So you're not applying the downward force of pulling. It's a drop, but you're also not turning right away and throwing yourself over plane. So heave it up, let it drop, and then rotate through. So heave up, drop, rotate. So two forces are... Heave and rotate. That's it. So it's now HDR, high definition reality swing. High definition something. Um, and I'll go with my club. And then when you get so memorize or ingrain in your body the timing of that. Very passive drop and sitting move which you'll do easily with your trainer and then rotate through so i'll do it with my club and my challenge is to give this enough time so heave it back rotate through not too bad so work on that simplify forget about and do this and that and all these things and controlling your hands and reduce yourself down to two forces heave it back sit rotate through, get it to be very simple. It's really the timing of those three moves that will create a reliable swing.